guys, my name is Anna Gabriela Mejia Cruz uh, and, uh, and I'm from second grade and I go study at Western Avalon Element Tech Elementary School. So so here I'm going to show you a bit of my product that, that I did for my science fair that we did on Monday. Here my, my, my experiment it is of how to get the color white. So my question, also known as statement of Proprius, it is of uh, is it possible to get the color white by mixing different primary colors? And then my hypothesis was sorry, um if my hypothesis was if we mix colors of light, then it is possible to get the color white. Then if we mix colors of paint, it is not possible to get the color white. My research was of somebody named Isaac Newton who was curious about the rainbow and so one day he closed all of his curtains but leaving a little hole in one. And then he got a little glass prism and, and then he and then he got a little glass prism and then, and then let it and then put it put it put it in in front of the of the little of the little light of the sun and then when he shined it there there he saw it on the rainbow and and he saw seven bright colors red orange yellow green blue purple indigo or violet and, and then years years later other scientists uh, saw saw Newton's researches and studies and then and then they created a color wheel uh, and then they, and then known as as the color, mother color mixing like wait now I want to show you this color wheel that we have right here. Okay, so this color wheel is supposed to show the color white. I don't know if you can see it because the dot of the color white is really small and it's, and it's all the way in there. So now we're going to go to add this color machine, but first I will turn this off. Okay, so now moving on to additive color mixing. So, so complement of the colors, we can't just get the color white to mix it. Whichever colors of light, we need to mix it by three special colors. Red, R, G, R, Y, G, or B, which stands for yellow, I, I mean red, yellow, or green, and blue. So right now we're going to show you, uh, the, and we're going to see what color we got in the middle of these of these colors of light. So here we got the color green. Here we got the color blue, and here we got the color red. And right now you can see here in the middle, even though we'll have a bit like lavender, it is supposed to be the color right in the middle of green, blue, and red. There's the color white. And now moving on to the special color mixing. A color mixing. Accomplished to the overlapping three colors of ink or tint or paint or paint. Um, we're supposed. We can't get the color white of of just paint here. If we get like these three paints, which are, which are actually the colors of the lights, it doesn't mean that we're going to get the color white out of the paint, just because the light goes the color white. If we mix all of these together into all the colors of the rainbow, if we mix all of those colors of the rainbow, um, we will get like a reddish brownish color. And now my con 
and, and then the subtract bracket here is that this bright color that we got here of the lights, of the lights, it, it is used for, it is used for backgrounds of computers, phones, ha and tablets. And, but, but the thing is, we, we can also get another, another different color, another different color here, which is actually color black. If we mix cyan, magenta, and yellow, we're going to get the color black, which is used for digital printing. And now the conclusion is, according to all these experiments, we we can only get the color white by mixing by doing it by light and the color wheel okay okay so here we come to an end i hope thank you for all your attention and i hope to this gave you some research if you also want to do something like this thank you for watching bye